New Minnesota Fighting Viking star edge rusher Zadarius Smith met with the media jackals on Tuesday talking about how he signed with the Vikings and what his outlook for the future is. Uh, we got some thoughts on some of the things he said, so let's dive on in. First up, uh, Chris Thomas and Pioneer Press. Go. Uh, Vikings Zadarius Smith, it just felt like home in signing with Vikings. Said the 3-4 scheme fits him well and was similar to the one he played in at Green Bay, uh, but says he can play any position they want him to in the defense. So that they did move Zadarius Smith around quite a bit in in Green Bay. He found a lot of success there. Uh, he's on the outside, strong side, weak side, inside, a uh, hand in the dirt all over the place. And the Vikings having a multiple front defense, which Kevin O'Connell and Don Tell have talked about, having players that can play multiple spots is going to be important. So that's why you'll see Zadarius and Daniil opposite side, same side. It, it doesn't matter. DJ want him to get in the mix as well. Harrison Phillips can play all along the defensive line. So it's very, uh, same thing with Diesel Dalvin Thompson. So you can start, you're starting to see what the Vikings are doing, where you're not going to have players in set positions anymore where guys are just going to be cu- flying around all over the place and Zadarius Smith is going to make some plays. Well, Rag at Sports Illustrated, uh, O'Connell, head coach, Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell, uh, well, no, the other O'Connell. Uh, what Z's put on tape through his whole career is the ability to affect the passer in a variety of ways. I watched him end a lot of football games with his ability to get to the quarterback. Him and Daniil gives uh, us a great duo that's going to help uh, us do a lot. And the last season that both of them were fully healthy was 2019. Uh, Zadarius led the league in pressures with 93, and Daniil was number two with 88. Now, take everything with a grain of salt because Zadarius only beat Daniil that year because he got to play Riley Reef late in the season. He got nine pressures in a game and three and a half sacks, right? So I, I, I was implore people, look at pressures, not just sacks, because a lot of times uh, pressure is even better than a sack. I mean, some guys will just get sacks where – hey, someone else pushed uh, the quarterback towards them, and then they they just end up with the quarterback in the grass, and they record a sack. But getting consistent pressure, moving the quarterback off his spot, making the quarterback fear you. It is like, oh, I, like, I can feel his breath on the back of my neck, man. Always looking out, hey, where is Darius Smith? Where is Daniel Hunter, e- et cetera. Pressures will equal uh, pressures will generate uh, negative plays for the offense, whether it's a sack, whether it's an errant pass, whether it's a turnover, lots of things. So pressure, 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 uh, first and foremost. Next up, Thomason. Uh, Vikings and Darius Smith said he's as healthy as ever after his back surgery, just did his physical, and he said it checked out fine. Back is good. Now, there have been some scuttlebutt that Zedarius failed uh, a, a physical in Baltimore. That's not true. He never got to that uh, case. Usually, it's right before you sign the contract is when you get the physical, and since they're still in the legal tampering, ain't going to happen, right? Uh, but Zedarius passed the physical with the Vikings. They certainly were... Uh, in- interested parties in terms of how that back surgery went. And if Zedarius had just been out last year after week one and never returned, I would have questions. But the fact that he came back in the playoff game against the Niners and did extremely well, whew, I'm ready to go, man. Uh, Sean Borman, uh, Zedarius Smith on things falling apart with Baltimore said, in my heart, I wanted to be somewhere where I knew the coaching staff. So he's not talking about Jim Harbaugh, who obviously was the head coach when uh, when uh, Zedarius was in Baltimore, but he's talking about Mike Patton, Green Bay, Mike Smith, who also spent some time with the Ravens as well. Uh, most recently uh, with gr- the Green Bay Packers coaching uh, Zedarius Smith uh, one-on-one in practice every single day. So it, it makes a-, a ton of sense that Zedarius should cross the river to the good side of the river, by the way. And lastly, Oh, two more. Uh, Kramer, Zedarius Smith spoke with Daniil Hunter yesterday, told him he might be his teammate. He's like, okay, now it can be one of the best duos in the league. Whew. And this is a great offseason where Daniil is healthy and he's happy. And same thing with Zedarius Smith. And the Vikings are just going to hunt, man. Where, hey, I, I know that everyone's giving love to Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack as the best edge rusher duo in the league. Now, I will take this. I will take this right here. And finally, Will Raggett's. Uh, Zedarius Smith says he got a chance to sit down with Daniel Hunter at the 2019 Pro Bowl and talk to him. He says Hunter told him, you never know, Z. We might get a chance to play on the same team someday and sign a jersey for him. He's excited that they're teammates now. It's all about networking, man. Uh, and with free agency and players move around all the time, making these connections, whether uh, that, that's why you see in games, too. Uh, like fans will be pissed. Like, oh, how can they? Uh, how can they smile and joke around and, and laugh and give dap after the game? The, the, there was a, that was a battle. Uh, no, no. The players, it, it's a fraternity. They, they respect each other, and they do network. They, they work out um, in, in similar spots with similar coaches. They go on vacation to the same uh, places. So, yeah, networking is very key, and also networking helps you recruit. 
I mean, Zadarius Smith, maybe he would have gotten more uh, with the Cowboys. Maybe he would have gotten more with the Chiefs. But the fact that he had a connection here with the coaches as well as uh, already with Daniil Hunter, ooh, makes sense. Makes sense, man. So I'm fired up. Can't wait to see what uh, Zadarius Smith is going to do on the field. Because not only is he just a high-energy, high-motor dude, he was a team captain. He's a great leader. Uh, I wonder what number he's going to pick. Because he wore 94 at Kentucky numerology podcast coming soon. I think he wore number 90 with the Ravens and he obviously wore 55 with the Packers. So I got a lot of options. So there you go. But yeah, fantastic signing. Oh, Quasi Adolfa After they re-signed Sean Mannion, he's garbage. And then they bring in Zadarius. Totally redeem yourself. Anyways, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.